evening, you're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. First, the headlines. On behalf of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Syed Asad bin Tarak Al Said receives His Excellency, the Sri Lankan Ambassador to the Sultanate, to bid him farewell at the end of his mission. The Ministerial Committee for Planning and Development in Gulf Cooperation Council countries reviews the suitable development strategy. And the direct foreign investments volume at Sohar and Salala Free Zone increased to half a billion dollars. Those are the headlines and now for the news in detail. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, His Highness Syed Asad bin Tarak Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs and Special Representative of His Majesty the Sultan, received His Excellency Marmio Tukia Batman Natan, Sri Lankan Ambassador accredited to the Sultanate, to bid him farewell at the end of his mission. His Excellency the Ambassador expressed his thanks to His Majesty the Sultan, Omani government and the Omani people for their support he received during his work in the Sultanate, which enabled him to carry out his work. He wished His Majesty the Sultan good health and happiness and Omani people for their progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the Sultan. From his side, His Highness Syed Asad bin Tariq expressed his thanks to the Ambassador for the efforts he exerted to serve the relations between the two countries wishing him further success in his future assignment and the Sri Lankan people further progress and prosperity. The meeting was attended by the Secretary General and the two advisors at the office of His Highness Syed Asad. His Highness Syed Asad bin Tarak Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs, personal representative of His Majesty the Sultan, received in his office today His Excellency Toshinori Kobay Ashi, Ambassador of Japan accredited to the Sultanate. During the meeting, they exchanged cordial talks and reviewed the good bilateral relations between the Sultanate and Japan and the existing cooperation in various fields to serve the joint interests of the friendly Omani and Japanese peoples. His Highness Syed Asad bin Tarak Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs, personal representative of His Majesty the Sultan, also received in his office today His Excellency Muna Amar, Ambassador of the Republic of India, to the Sultanate. They exchanged cordial talks and reviewed the good bilateral relations between the Sultanate and India and the existing cooperation in various fields to serve the joint interests of the friendly Omani and Indian people. The meeting was attended by the Secretary General and the two advisors at the office of His Highness Syed Asad. The State Council discussed draft laws of partnership between public and private sectors, foreign capital investments and allocation forwarded from the Council of Ministers and reports of the Economic Committee and the Shura Council upon them at the 11th regular session. Honourable members of the Council during the discussions of the draft laws showed their visions and notes towards the articles highlighting the importance of encouraging foreign investment in the Sultanate through preparing a suitable investment environment. The 27th meeting of the Ministerial Committee for Planning and Development in Gulf Cooperation Council countries focused on a number of topics related to sustainable development, strategy, report on population status and competitiveness indices. The meeting also discussed partnership between the government and community in funding some projects in addition to joint media programs that are in line with the upcoming development stage. The meeting was headed by His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Masood Asinadi, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Deputy Chairman of Supreme Council for Planning. The ASEAN Group stressed the year 2019 recorded the best financial performance for the group, where it achieved a growth by 14% during the last six months. It also clarified that the direct foreign investment in free zones in Sohar and Salala this year reached $500 million. In Dakan, the dry dog company provided services to 19 ships in one day. Meanwhile, five new ships of the Oman shipping company ventured into the sea and its fleet is expected to reach 71. On the other hand, the ships of national ferry companies linked the ports of Musandam with Muscat and Shinas, 
Around 43,000 passengers traveled by Masalat buses in one day, which is considered a record, as 50% growth is expected in the number of passengers. The government body stressed that the logistics sector will greatly contribute in the national economy in the upcoming period. The eighth round of the Sultan Qaboos Award for Culture, Arts and Literature was the center of discussion at the meeting of Islamic Educational, Scientific and Culture Organization at Ribat City. During the meeting, the participants discussed the fields of the award and its role in enhancing the civilian advancement in addition to enriching knowledge. The award came within the framework of the significance of the cultural role in the Arab world and international level. Sultan Qaboos University achieved new world classification for universities, QS, where it came 379th internationally for 2020. The recorded universities within this classification reach 1,047 from various countries around the world. The university witnessed noticeable improvements on its annual classification within the International Universities Classification, which is harmonized with Oman's Vision 2040, seeking to make one Omani University one of the best 300 universities around the world by 2030, and four Omani universities in the same classification by 2040. Air Vice Marshal Matar Ben Ali Al Obadani, Commander of the Royal Air Force of Oman, received in his office at Maaskar Al Murtafa. Today, Lieutenant General Carl E. Mundy, Commander of the United States Marine Forces Central Command, and his accompanying delegation currently visiting the Sultanate. The two sides exchanged viewpoints and discussed a number of military areas and matters of common concern. Activities of the Omani-Italian joint exercise Jebel Shams II continue. The Omani forces were represented by Musandam Security Force in the Royal Army of Oman, and the Italian side was represented by the Mountain Infantry Battalion 9 in the Italian Army. The exercise activities are held in the Italian city of L'Aquila. This exercise is considered a great opportunity for exchanging expertise, information and military knowledge. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Ministry of Sports Affairs honours 15 initiatives within the Youth Club Award. بادر بقيد اسمك في السجل بادر بقيد اسمك في السجل الانتخابي تسجيلك حق وصوتك أمانة انتخابات أعضاء مجلس الشورى للفترة التاسعة مع تحيات وزارة الداخلية Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The investment program, Taqween, affiliated to the Omani Fund for Technology, reviewed the projects of nine technical companies for investors. The program invested at 10 startup technical companies from inside and outside the Sultanate in the conceiving stages with investments reaching around half a million dollars. The participated companies got incentivized training programs through integrated support, including guidance, supervision and training in various commercial and technical fields in cooperation with Irish institutions, which also included specified aspects concerned with developing products to attract investors. Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in cooperation with the Ministry of Manpower and National Programme for Economic Diversification, TANFEED, held a seminar on simplifying the procedures for part-time jobs and jobs on temporary basis for students and job seekers. The initiative aims at providing a source of income for students and job seekers and preparing them with the practical skills that they will need in the professional careers. The initiative also seeks to offer solutions to seasonal and temporary jobs that are usually required in construction and tender-based works. The seminar discussed the initiative in general, the mechanisms and the outlook of part-time jobs in Oman.
Fifteen out of 134 initiatives won the Ministry of Sports Affairs Award for Youth Initiatives, Mabadi Roon. The awards ceremony was held under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Saayed Al Qalbani, Minister of Social Development, who praised the initiatives made in the sports field and from people with special needs and stated that such initiatives created solidarity and a spirit of self-giving in the community. The award reviewed initiatives under various categories such as sport fields, environment and safety, youth development and club initiatives in sports fields. Activities of Summer Sports 2019 inaugurated at the Government of North Batna. The event of inauguration of the program included entertainment, competitions for children and adults, a number of sports games and various shows. The team working on this program seek to prepare and coordinate for these events which hosted targeted bodies. <laughs> Salala College of Technology hosted the 8th Student Forum for Colleges of Technology, which took place in the Wilayat of Salala. 100 students representing various colleges of technology participated in the forum that discussed issues relating to the fourth industrial revolution and its impact on the job market in the future. The forum also discussed innovation management and was followed by an exhibition on student innovation projects. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governance with chances of low cloud and fog late at night and early morning over the coast of the Arabian Sea. Winds will be northwesterly light to moderate and seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. the Seltzer and Pepperman television before in tonight's bulletin here are the main points once again. On behalf of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Syed Asad bin Tariq Al Said receives His Excellency the Sri Lankan Ambassador to the Sultanate to bid him farewell at the end of his mission. The Ministerial Committee for Planning and Development in Gulf Cooperation Council countries reviews the Sustainable Development Strategy. And the direct foreign investments volume at Sohar and Salala Free Zone increases to half a billion dollars. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsrooms and the studio, it's good night.